What up, guys? Your boy Quake. And if there's someone to troll and somewhat speak allegedly the truth, it's 50 Cent. But what 50 said to Diddy recently on Instagram is more than a troll. This is a lot more serious because this is accusing someone of murder for hire. 50 and Diddy's history goes way back, back in 1999 when he was signed to Columbia. He was doing some writing for Diddy's artists. After he got shot, he went back and did some writing some more for Diddy's artists. But ultimately, Diddy never wanted to sign 50. 50 was just too much gangsta at that time, too much stuff going on that, you know, Diddy kind of moved on. Then 50, of course, blew up. And then so on and so forth, Diddy and 50 would have back and forth together. That's a beef that I never deep dive into, which I probably will in the future. I'll make a documentary, uh, you know, 50 versus Diddy, what really happened. These two have been known to go back and forth. 50 would troll Diddy a lot, especially when he had his own vodka, effing vodka at the time. Uh, he would call Diddy Ciroc Puffy Juice and say that he was beating it all the time and in sales and all this stuff. And 50 threw some recent jabs at Diddy, joking around about his all-white party where, you know, he was like, uh, looks a little suspect and I don't know if I want to be around, you know, a bunch of men like that. And, you know, just joking around about his uh, sexual orientation, let's say that. That's why I don't be going to the Puffy parties. Uh-uh. They can hug you from the front and the back at the same time. What the fuck you talking about? Uh, I mean, look, if you lay into that, you into that, I'm fine with it. To get you on. I'm just saying this ain't my motherfucking kind of party. I like it. It's uncomfortable. I think I belong in the girls' bathroom. And shit like that is going on. <laughs> I hate when they leave me to talk because I always say the wrong thing. I'm saying the wrong thing. Last time they left me, I said something about puffing. You saw that? You saw that thing? Yeah! I gotta stop doing that kind of shit. I gotta, I've, been, I've been talking to a uh, therapist to try to help me with the shit I've been saying. I said crazy shit on my mouth for no reason. No, 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 no reason. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe I said that shit about puffing because he got Tupac killed. <laughs> But today he decided to joke around and somewhat be serious, I think, about something that is very serious. That is the allegations that Diddy allegedly hired someone to murder Tupac. And the story of Diddy allegedly hiring someone to get at Tupac is a story that's mixed up with a lot of different sides of stories uh, from Keefe D to Diddy's bodyguard, Gene Deal, to uh, Zip, the one that allegedly got paid. There's so many different styles of stories that come out when it relates to this. But ultimately, even Greg Kading, the investigator, said there was no way to ultimately tie Diddy to that actual hit. So there isn't no clear connection. And that's something that I'm going to explore uh, in my Diddy documentary called Diddy, the $1 million hit. I'm working on the documentary right now. So I've been looking at a lot of different stories, a lot of different theories. And, you know, that's the rumor that's always gone around that Diddy did something to Tupac. And there is some solid evidence and there is some, you know, conspiracy theories that are going around. So it's a mixture, you know, of things. But 50 decided to play on that because that's been the hot topic after Keefe D, you know, got arrested. And he posted on his Instagram the last photo of Tupac alive, which is him in that BMW and then Shug's. Uh, about to get driving and in the caption he said this damn so Pac got lined by brother love brother love is quote-unquote Diddy's new name and then he said lol time to lawyer up shit might get sticky and that brought insane attention and Diddy even an hour later decided to respond on his Instagram he posted the music video of the Mo Money Mo Problems video and in there he's dancing around with Mace and those shiny suits and in the caption he said this an hour after 50 posted what he posted, he said, Happy Monday morning, people. There's a lot of hate in the world. Let's choose love today. Monday morning mood. And, you know, people are like, you're referring to 50, you're responding to 50. And now all these stories are coming up back again. And more people are revealing things. And I'm sure Keefe D is going to probably say a lot more now that he's locked up. He's going to try to be in a situation that he can get out of. Suge Knight has alluded to the fact that Diddy probably put a hit on them and there's been a lot of gang stories and behind the scenes things that, you know, uh, that proved that Diddy did something. There was actually a million dollar check in the pocket of Zip. 
And if you look at this photo, this is Diddy and Zip. And in this photo, Zip was someone known to be, uh, uh, you know, someone who moved moved very heavy out in Compton and just in Los Angeles in general. So there were stories that, you know, Zip had a million dollar check in his pocket. So clearly the theory is out there and there's proof in certain type of things, but there isn't so far based on my research, there isn't clear cut evidence that ties the two together. There's a lot of stories that make sense and that if, if there was proof of a lot of these things that you could tie them together, you could then, you know, accuse Diddy of what he did. 50 is no stranger to getting money put on his head. As you guys know, you know, if you watch my 50 versus Ja Rule documentary, you know that uh, Supreme is someone that put allegedly $50,000 on his head and tried to get him killed. And 50, of course, survived that and became one of the biggest artists in the world. And he's very familiar with that in his own hood of Queens. He knows that putting just five grand on somebody's head can get him killed. He's mentioned it in quite a few interviews. And he's more aware of these type of situations than the average person. Even Eminem, you know, trollingly said in the Kill Shot song, you know, I put the hit out of the dock, I got pot killed, ah, you know, whatever the bars are on that. So, yeah, it, it's it's always, it's been something that's been floating around for a minute now, and I'm glad I'm doing a documentary on it. I'm, I'm, I'm looking into it. I'm learning a lot, and, you know, I'm going to put the pieces together and just kind of let you guys decide on what you guys think, if it's true or not, because there are people who don't, that don't believe it. There's people that believe that, you know, there's so many conspiracy theories relating to this Pac murder. That there's people that believe that Suge Knight did it. There's people that believe Diddy did it. There's people that believe that he's not dead. He's in Cuba. Whatever the case may be, a lot of stories that float around, you know, this is, you know, we're talking nearly 30 years ago. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of different theories, a lot of different things. But the Diddy one is very interesting. And based on my research so far, I can see how it can be true. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys think Diddy had something to do with Pac's murder? If so, why? If not, why? And if not Diddy, who else do you think had something to do with it? Was it Suge Knight? Was it the LAPD? Was it Las Vegas PD? Was it the FBI? Was it, uh, you know, some crazy theory that Pac wanted to disappear and go to Cuba? Whatever, leave a comment below. I want to know what you guys think. That's it for today's video. If you guys want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash diverse mentality. For just $3 a month, you can get my videos uncut and raw the way I intended them to be, but couldn't because of YouTube. Plus, you also get access to our Discord community, where we have a great community talking about hip hop and various other things. It's very dope. So only $3 a month, I'd really appreciate the support. Also follow us on social media at QuakeGW and at Diverse Mentality. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.